Hi, Christy Hi. Jargens. Hi, I'm Anthony Hutchinson. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Uh, what brings you to the lesson tee today? Well, um, I'm trying to uh, get some of my game back. Um, I started playing golf uh, uh, like when I was 40, about 16 years ago. And uh, I had an accident at one point, and I have trouble with my uh, right leg, uh, my left leg, and my and my lower back. So, um, is that going to impact um, your game at all? Yes, yes, it has. Um, before I got hurt, uh, I started playing when I was 40 years old, um, and about uh, that was in 1997. In two, uh, at that point, after about two years, I could shoot um, in the mid 80s. Uh, I never broke 80. Three times I shot 80. If I had a bad day, I would shoot 92, 93. Um, then I had the accident with my leg. I had a bad back beforehand, but it was not problematic, as problematic as it is now. Um, after my leg was hurt, I couldn't play for about a year and a half uh, between surgeries and, and physical therapies. Since that time, I'm happy when I break 100. So um, I would, I would like to be able to at least get into the into the 90s on a consistent basis. Uh, my two biggest problems are uh, weight shift because because of my left leg. Can you put any and weight on it at all? I, I, I can put weight on it, but going through the swing motion is uh, uncomfortable. Um, so. It, it hinders that, and uh, since my leg problem, my back has gotten worse, so I have problems uh, staying in staying in posture and making that that full turn. Okay. So I figured if I could get help with with some of those or accommodate those problems somehow, um, okay. I would be able to be more consistent. Consistency is really the biggest problem I have. Okay. So for today's lesson, you want to focus on something to help you basically just uh, get work on your weight shift and get through the ball easier? Yes. Would that and be a good yes, goal for today? Yes, that would, that would be a great goal to work on weight shift that I can be more consistent where I'm not, um, you know, meaning. many times, well, where I can uh, have something where I can, I can get through the ball and not stop so much. I, you know, I, Stop in you the know, of your it, swing. right. I, you know, I, I stop my swing. I can't. I don't follow through as I feel. I, okay. I should be able to. Okay. Um, you know, so okay. I don't know how to adjust what I do, what I did before, to, you know, not being able to do it the same exact way. And I don't know what to do to. So okay. it'll be more consistent. All right. So doing this will help you be more consistent and shoot. And hopefully shoot uh, in the 90s down the road. I, I would, yeah. In the, you know, I mean, I don't expect to shoot in the 90s today. Like I said, if I break 100, if I shoot 98 or, or 97, I'm, I'm very most of the time I'm 102, 104. Okay. You know, so if I could be, you know, if I could get into the mid 90s, I don't ever expect to be shooting in the 80s again. Uh, you know, unless I <laughs> chip and putt a lot better. But uh, I want to at least get to the green, and that's. You know, my problem is is long game. My problem is not short game. That so I can So how practice. many shots? Um, how many misses would you say you do on a certain hole? Like, at a, how many shots do you, well, do you miss? Four out of five? Do you miss nine out of ten? You know. Well, it's I, I I would I would say um, you know definitely probably I would say I miss probably four out of ten shots where I can have like two paws. And then I have a nine. I'm just not, you know, so I'm not. So what would you be happy with if you, consistent. if you miss uh, four out of ten shots now? What would you be happy with? Would I, you be happy with six out of ten? Would you be happy doing seven out of ten? What would you be happy with after today's lesson? I would be happy if I could be consistent eight out of ten. Well, eight I don't know about after times. today's lesson, but I would like to be more consistent. You know, eight out, eight out of ten. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I misunderstood a little bit. I'm, you know, I'm, the shots yeah. that I miss are, yes. are, miss about four I, out of yeah, ten. at least, yeah, at, at least, so you'd be happy you know, with eight miss out of hit, ten. yeah, if you're saying miss hit, yeah, okay. at least four, I'd more like six out of, <laughs> more like, yeah, five to six out of ten. If I could get it down to two out of ten, that would really improve my game a lot. Okay.
All right. Um, so do you do stretches for your back and your legs? Yes, yes, I do. I just did about 15 minutes worth of stretching beforehand, and I do that every day anyway, not just before I play golf. Okay. And so you do physical therapy now? Or I don't. I don't have. I haven't done any physical therapy in in uh, quite a while. Um, I I did it for you know for year you know for uh, the first first year and a half I couldn't even play I you know I was housebound for a year um, and then uh, you know I took physical therapy for like another year after that uh, let's um, you know. look at take a look at your golf clip here okay uh, let's see you have Callaway Big Bertha were you right. fitted for these clubs no I, I was not fitted for them um, when I first started playing I had uh, uh, gotten uh, you know a used set right from the guy, one of the guys from work. Then I bought a, a set uh, that was nice. They were more, they were thinner, um, less forgiving than these, and that's when I was shooting reasonably well. Um, okay. You know, like I said, in the pretty much in the in the mid 80s on a on a consistent basis. Uh, after I got hurt, I ended up getting these. I was not fitted for them. My swing speed slowed down, so I went with the graphite shafts. These are about the most. These are 2007 uh, Big Berthas, mm -hmm. and um, so I wanted what? something more, uh, you know, something with a little more, uh, right, a little more flex and a little more forgiving. So these are supposed okay. to be some of the most forgiving. Yeah, on they the look market. like pretty decent clubs um, for you. If you do, you know, end up wanting to get a new set, I suggest you get fitted. Um, right. By myself or another pro, you know. It's, Free of charge here, and we can fit you, you know, according to your swing and height and everything. So it's definitely beneficial nowadays. Right. Well, the technology. Yeah. So well, just, uh, you know, just so you know. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll tell you, if I could, if I could see that I was going to be able to improve if we worked together for, you know, for yeah, and I could time. give you, you know, after watching you hit a few, you know, we could go from there. If I, if I think that you need something different, I'll definitely let you know. Okay. That sound good? So what yes. do you want to start with today? Uh, maybe... Uh, We're working uh, on basics pretty much, so you want to do like a 7 iron? Uh, okay, a, a 7 iron is fine. Um, I usually... Uh, uh, like I said, well, uh, my 7 iron is usually about 135 yards. My 6 iron, I try to hit about 150, 145 to, to 50. So, yeah, this would definitely get me over the... And this, uh, you um, mishit this too? Opposed well, all the yeah, all the clubs? yeah. It doesn't okay. matter which club is is in my hand. All right. My physical situation remains the same. All right, so you're no all matter warmed what up. Is. Do you want to take some practice swings? Yeah, I, I could take a couple of practice swings. I am I am warmed up. All right. Uh, basically, while you're swinging, I'll just tell you. You know, we'll try to pick out a target. Um, okay. Something that's reachable. You don't want to pick a target that's out of your reach because then you tend to try to overhit or overswing. Right. So pick something that's reachable with your seven iron. I'm going to watch you hit about four or five balls so I can get a good look at your swing and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. All right. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to aim at the at the hundred yard marker. Um, and if I, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll go over that. Okay. And I'm could have, you know, played as if the 50 and the 75 are uh, the fairway. Okay. So if I'm Good idea. not in between there, I'm not on the fairway. On a scale from one to ten, how was that shot? That was that was pretty good. It wasn't the distance I would like, but um, direction. You know, I, was right. I, it, it, you know, it was a little clunky as far as sound okay. goes. It didn't have that thud, which doesn't happen very often when I when I hit the ball. But so we're still aiming in between the fifty and one hundred. Yeah, 100? I'm, I'm going to do the same. Okay. For all four balls that you want me to hit. Yeah. Alright, just left of the 100. For a direction, uh, do, you, do you 
typically miss to the right if you miss hit it? Or uh, no? My idea, yeah, I it it I don't know which what you know. If, if you I miss if, it, I, feel, if I feel if I well if I feel when I'm go? trying to really stay in posture and follow through, if I don't stay in posture, it'll go to the right. If I overcompensate and I really stay in it, then I'll get that like 10 or 15 degree pull if I miss it. And then I hit it a lot, you know, I hit it further, but it's, it's to the, to the left. How was that shot on uh, yeah. scale of 1 to 10, 10 being good? Yeah, I, I would say that was about, um, for me, about, uh, probably about a, a 7. Okay, so um, to I tried to I tried to... Uh, Overcompensate? Well, I tried to give it a little, a sure, little at the bottom, right, right yeah. a little turn at the bottom. So to make uh, it a 10? Well, if it, to me, if it was a 10, it would have went 130 yards straight over the 100-yard <laughs> yard marker. marker. Okay. So that, you know, those were my, the first two were definitely better. The second two, I guess, I started to come out of a little, come out of it a little bit. Um, my, okay. uh, I'd like to um, first set up your alignment. Um, it does look like your alignment is a little off right now. If you say you're setting up in between the 50, you want to hit the ball in between the 50 and the 100 yard marker. Right. Stay right there. Let me get my head. Uh, so I want you to set up to the ball. I don't want you to hit. Just set up to the ball, all right, and stay there. Like you were going in between the 50 and 100 yard marker. Okay. And stay there. Away. Now take a step back here and let's uh, see where you're aiming according to where you want to hit it. Okay, I want to go right over the 100 yard marker and I'm aiming at the 100 yard at the post yard or, in, or at those two trees basically. So if you're aiming at the if your body's aiming at the 100 yard marker, where is my club face aiming? The, the club faces are aiming at the at the white and green post. Yes. Okay. So this is our aiming device here. Wherever we want that ball to go is where the club face should be aiming. All right. So you see how you were, you had your parallel lines perfect. Okay. Um, which is what you want. But we want to shift that. Um, we want to make sure we get our club face aimed where we want that ball to go and then get our body parallel to our target line. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Almost like railroad tracks. Right. Okay? So we want to move this more here, and then more like that, right? Is that a little better? Right, even a little bit more, right? Yeah, I was really... Okay. This way you don't have to try to compensate and try to work your wrists and what? hands more, right? So now we just want to, because your arms will naturally come around your body, and that's how we get the ball square to our target, okay? When you set up parallel to our target, all right? Okay. With that being said, I want you to try that. Usually what I do, um, I incorporate into my pre-shot routine, always setting the club face to my target first. And if it helps, finding an intermediate target, something a little closer on my target line to help line up to. Where I can make sure that I'm... That you're lined up correctly. Okay. Okay? And then, then take your body position after that. Okay, so then I'm... I would be here and I would say maybe that um, the, brown, the brown leaf... So That's there. Right here? Yes. Okay. Right, so I would want to try and aim it more at that and then set myself up to that point. Now, am I more in line? Yeah, now you're about at, you're still a little right. I, I am. and Just a little. Okay, because it's, 
to be perfectly honest, from the way I was hitting it, I feel like I'm looking <laughs> way to the left. That's so... This is where you are. You can take a step back if you want. Okay. Right, so it still is... Still a little to the right. Yeah, that's... Okay. What I, um, very deceiving. I can show you what I do. When I walk, I walk into my shot, okay? You want to stand over here, all right? I, from this point on, I look at my target. I look at my target as I'm walking into the ball. I place my club face down where I want that ball to go while I'm still looking on it, front view, okay? I keep that, keep it there, and then, I set my body up parallel, all right, without moving the club face, okay? And then I know I'm, I'm parallel to my target with my body. Right. From the setup position, I could also put my club along my shoulder line and make sure that my body is left parallel to the target, all right? So it is going to be a little left, all right? Okay. But that's what you want, all right? You don't want your body aiming at the target, or you want it parallel. So you could always check. Don't do it from this, from standing up straight. Do it from the setup position. Okay. So let's try that one more time. Okay. How does that? How are you saying if I? You should be slightly left of your target, your intended that's target. Well, it, seem, it, it seems like that to me at this, the way I'm looking at it, does it, can, does it look that way behind me? Uh, yeah. Set up to the ball. Alright, that club face is still right. Okay. Let's make sure your shoulders are square. They are. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm thinking that you're still right at a target. I want you to hit this shot and let's see where the ball goes. Okay. That was like a punch shot. Yeah. Hit another one for me. Take your normal swing. Don't do anything different. So it's still out to the right, right? Right, and it had a little tail on it, so. All right, so I'm going to put these sticks down again, and I'm going to leave them down while you hit this next shot. Okay. Okay? So we're going to put this at the 100, and we're going to put this parallel. All right? Um, let's stick a ball. And once you set up, I'll take this stick away, but I'm going to leave your feet. I'm going to move it a little more to you. Now take a normal swing again. Right, it's still a little out to the right. But, that I, but I believe that that's more my, my past, you know, okay. not, not being able to completely yep. finish the swing. Okay, we're going to work on that so, next. But most importantly, we want to make sure that we're lined up to our target, so we can take that out of the factor, right. okay? okay, as a problem. Um, you always want to be lined up correctly. I think that ball might have been a little bit too far away from me also. So. Real quick? Yeah, I... Hit one more for me. I wasn't in it. To that uh, so, um, six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna make it eight out of ten now. Okay. All right. Um, how are you putting 
weight. I know you're not able to really turn and I, get that weight shift. Right, I don't. Can you start out with your weight on your left foot a little? Can you put any weight on it? Or, well, or I, I, I can put weight on it, but it's, it's uncomfortable. So okay. I would say I'm more 70-30. Okay. You know, I have seventy percent of my weight on my on my right, okay, right on my foot. right leg, and the, the follow through and the turn between the leg and the back. Okay. What I want you to um, do for me is slightly open your left foot. Okay. This will help you turn a little easier and leave your hip open, so your arms could come more around your body when you finish. Same okay. Like, so open like that this. slightly. Yes. And now take your swing. That's okay. Try it again. It's a little different, so normal swing. If you need to take a practice swing, you can. Make sure you're lined up to your target. How was that shot? Well, that shot was okay. This was a little more comfortable coming through. Uh, uh, um, score from 1 to 10, 10 being a good shot. Uh, I, I would, yeah, I would still call that about a, you know, okay. a 6, maybe 7. Because it still had a little tail, I'd like it to either be straight or a little bit of a, a little bit draw. Of a draw. Make sure your foot, left foot is open. How is that, that shot one, on that, a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah, that one felt really good. That's like a, definitely a, an 8 or a 9 because I could, just the way it sounded, and even though it, it was straight, you know, it was straight, it didn't have the tail. So we have and to that, do about that's 7 probably, more of them to reach your goal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In a row, you mean? No. Give me, how many misses do I have? Okay. Let's see. How is that on a scale of one right, to ten? Yeah. Well, um, I'm maybe off the what I was trying, maybe just off the fairway in the in the first cut. So that's. So you said a draw was it's okay. Not too right. It's not too bad. Um, you know. How did it feel? It, it, fe it felt good. It wasn't as, didn't have the same, it was a little more clunky, like the like that, the one before that had a nice thud so sound. So you want to hear that thud? That's what I'd like to hear more often. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So how does that left foot feel open? It, it, it feels it okay. Comfortable? Yes, okay. it feels okay. Uh, you know, it's something I'm not used to at this point, but it feels okay. Something that you one. think you could um, work yeah. on and get used to? Yes, yes, I do, and that, and I felt very good with that, with that shot I just hit it. That was right over the left side of the hundred yard marker. All right, so we have three with out of ten. Distance. Four or five more to go. Okay. <laughs> You're putting the pressure on. Me. I'm not good with that. Take your time. Definitely bad. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have hurt me, that's for sure. On this next shot I want you to hold your finish. Okay? Hold your finish finish position for me. Okay? As long as you can. Okay. A little tail. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That's and that's holding. That's one of the things. Like I, I think why I don't always finish is because that starts to be yeah. uncomfortable on my lower back. Okay, um, I want to show you um, one sure. drill to do that will help you get that ball rounded out and a little more square since you can't really get over on your left foot too much. Um, I want you to keep that left foot slightly open. Okay. okay. And I want to just stand over here. I want to show you a little drill. I call it um, a release drill. Basically, you're going to use um, like a pitching wedge or a nine iron, all right? You're going to take half shots. You're going to put the ball on the tee for practice only. And you're going to just work on turning your hands over at impact, all right? So you'll probably have the ball hooked, but this will really work out your wrists and your hands. And then eventually you incorporate it in your swing so you get that ball a little moving a little more where you want it to go and it'll take away the right side. All right? Okay. So it's going to look something like this. Okay? You see how the ball kind of drew to the left? Yes. All right? That's what I want you to do. Really dramatic. Really get that right hand turning through the ball at impact. Why don't you try just uh, one or two for me? You want me to get, I'll get my you your pitching pitch wedge? wedge. All right. Just little half shots. Just I just want to make sure okay. you know how to do it. To use that. Yes. Okay. All right. That was not a. Take it easy. It's half shot on the. Half shot. It's more in your hands and anything. I don't want you to, you know, work your lower body too much. Okay. Okay. All right. That. It's all in your hands. Good. All right. So that's basically okay. what I want you to do for practice. All right. And then eventually, the more you practice, the more it'll incorporate into your swing. Okay. And, um, o and always use a T. Always that, use a T just right, for practice. Just yes. for practice. Yep. Okay. And then after a while, it should ingrain in you, and you should be able to apply it to your swings out on the court. Okay. All right. So, uh, you see any changes from the lesson today in your swing well, or in the ball? Well, I don't see the I don't see the changes in my swing yet. I need to, you know, uh, practice keeping this open. This is a little bit of a different feel. Um, it does, you know, make the follow through a little more comfortable and as far as the uh, you know as as far well, as the direction. swing the, the direction feels very strange so that's something that's really going to take me a little while I believe okay. maybe if we can work again together and uh, I can practice it some uh, I can be a little more comfortable with it because it looks like I'm looking so far yeah. left yeah, you know what I mean after after the way after what you showed me and it feels okay, so like I'm do, looking at the hundred. It feels like I'm looking at the 150 yard marker instead of the 100 yard marker. Yeah. So what are you what are you gonna do to make sure that you line up correctly every time you hit a shot? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and incorporate um, what you had mentioned about uh, setting up the club first, trying to pick something out. Like I said, I was using that that leaf, making sure I aim it at that leaf, and then then come into the ball. Okay. with my stand. All right, good. And then hopefully that will All right. Hopefully that will keep me uh, you know Okay. Crack, you know naturally pro So All right, I will well thank you that, very so. much Tony. It was All a right. pleasure. And uh yeah, hopefully we could do this again. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you.